now we want to find the angle between 1 and 3 which is uh, theta 1 3 and then we have to find angle between 1 at 3 and 5 is theta 3 5 so for this case is our 1 1 and 1 and 1 and 5 1 1 and 3 3 and 5 okay 1 and 3 1 and 3 and 3 and 5 okay from here to here what is the angle between this one you know you this is this intersection is here the value is 150 degrees in that theta higher theta 1 3 is 150 degree minus here is 3 here is 100 100 uh, 70 76 eh? 176 so the difference is 10 20 26 degrees so this is your angle for theta 1 3 now what is theta 3 5 then 3 and 5 3 is 176 minus here here 176 here is draw this line follow this line which is 1 2 8 1 2 8 so this here the differences is your angle Okay. And then you calculate the between 2, 4 and 4, 5. 2, 4 and 4, 5. Okay, we have to make our line according to this longitudinal uh, based on the equator net. So make it your line like this. So follow this line similar like you uh, draw the grid circle okay what is 2 4 angle of 2 4 which is between 2 here is 230 minus 4 here is 200 which is 30 degrees so theta next theta is 2 4 and 4 5 4 5 is 5 here 200 4 uh, 4 is uh, 4 200 5 here is 200 and 20, 20, 24, 2, 2, 4. Okay, and that is about 24 degrees this section. Okay, so we have that data, this data, this data, and this data. Now, what's all? We have to calculate the intersection, uh, the angle between 1 and, and B. 2 and an A. Okay. We have 2 here. 2 and an A. Yeah? An A here. So this is our 2. This A. Look. This line. This line is if you follow this line it's not connect with this an A. Make it this point 2 connect with this point an A using this zero nets. Okay. How to do that so we have to move a little bit okay now two and an a can be connected see this line Okay. 
so 2 and a 2 and a is what is what is angle here 310 312 minus this is uh, 220 30 200 229 degrees this is your angles okay stop